Welcome, dear viewers, to a captivating journey through the lifelines of global trade, the canales of blood and gold. Today, we're not just exploring two man-made waterways. We're unraveling the stories, the struggles, and the immense impact of the Suez and Panama canals. These aren't just cuts in the earth. They are veins through which the lifeblood of global commerce flows. As we dive deep into their histories, their strategic and economic significance, and the human toll behind their creation, you'll discover how these channels have not only transformed shipping routes, but have also shaped the very course of world history. Let's start by turning back the clock to the mid-19th century, when the world was on the brink of unprecedented change. The idea of connecting the Mediterranean Sea with the Red Sea had been a dream for centuries, a dream that became a reality with the construction of the Suez Canal. Inaugurated in 1869, this monumental project carved through the harsh Egyptian desert, forging a direct maritime route between Europe and Asia. However, the construction of the Suez Canal was far from an easy feat. Picture the scene. Thousands of workers toiling under the blistering sun, enduring grueling conditions and facing the harsh realities of disease, malnutrition and exhaustion. The labour force was a mix of Egyptian peasants, forced labourers known as corvée, alongside European engineers and workers. The human cost was immense. It's estimated that tens of thousands of workers died during the construction process. A grim reminder that outstanding achievements often come at a great price. Fast forward to the early 20th century and we arrive at the story of the Panama Canal. By this time, the world had already witnessed one failed attempt by the French, led by the same man who built the Suez Canal, Ferdinand de Lesseps. The harsh jungles of Panama, coupled with tropical diseases like malaria and yellow fever, proved too much for the French effort, leading to its abandonment. It wasn't until 1904 that the United States took over the project and after a decade of engineering innovation, perseverance and yes, a significant loss of life, the Panama Canal was finally completed in 1914. This canal didn't just cut through land, it cut the distance ships needed to travel between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans by thousands of miles. What was once a difficult journey around the tip of South America at Cape Horn was now a relatively short and controlled passage through Central America. This engineering marvel symbolized American ingenuity and ambition, marking the United States as a rising global power. The Suez and Panama Canals are not just feats of engineering. They are testaments to human determination and the relentless pursuit of progress. Yet, they also serve as somber reminders of the human cost often accompanying such grand undertakings. Now, let's shift our focus to these two canals' strategic and geopolitical significance. In international trade and military strategy, these canals are more than just waterways. They are strategic choke points. Whoever controls these channels wields immense power over global trade routes and military movements. The Suez Canal, for instance, has been at the centre of numerous geopolitical conflicts. The most notable of these was the Suez Crisis of 1956. At that time, Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser boldly decided to nationalise the canal, which British and French interests had controlled since its construction. Ah. 
This move sparked a military intervention by Britain, France and Israel, leading to an international crisis. The United States and the Soviet Union, the two superpowers of the time, intervened diplomatically, forcing a withdrawal of the invading forces and ultimately marking the decline of European colonial influence in the Middle East. The Suez Crisis highlighted the canal's importance as a trade route and a symbol of national sovereignty and global power dynamics. Today, the Suez Canal remains a critical artery for international trade, with about 12% of the world's trade volume passing through it annually. It's also a vital route for oil and gas shipments, making it a strategic asset for energy security. On the other side, the Panama Canal plays a similarly crucial role. During World War II, the canal was strategically important, allowing the United States to transfer naval forces between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans quickly. Recently, the canal has become a focal point in the geopolitical rivalry between the United States and China. China has invested heavily in Latin America and has shown great interest in the Panama Canal, seeing it as a critical element in its global Belt and Road Initiative. The canal is not just a commercial route, it's a geopolitical chess piece in the ever-evolving game of international influence. Both canals continue to be flashpoints in international relations in the modern era. The Panama Canal, for instance, was handed over to Panama on December 31, 1999, but it remains closely monitored by global powers, particularly the United States. Meanwhile, despite being firmly under Egyptian control, the Suez Canal remains a site of potential geopolitical tension, especially given the volatile political climate in the Middle East. Though physically narrow, these waterways represent vast arenas of global power play. Control over them means global control over the flow of goods, energy and military assets, making them invaluable assets in international relations. When we talk about the economic impact of the Suez and Panama canals, it's easy to be overwhelmed by the sheer scale of their influence. These canals are not just shortcuts, they are economic lifelines that have revolutionized global trade. The Suez Canal, for instance, handles about 19,000 ships annually, which amounts to more than 1 billion tons of goods. This traffic generates billions of dollars in revenue for Egypt, making it one of the country's most significant sources of income. The canal's importance was starkly highlighted in March 2021 when the Ever Given, a massive container ship, became lodged in the canal, blocking it for six days. This incident disrupted global supply chains, costing billions of dollars in lost trade and highlighting the canal's crucial role in the global economy. The Panama Canal, while handling fewer ships annually, about 12,000, still moves more than 300 million tonnes of cargo each year. The canal generates significant revenue for Panama, contributing to the country's GDP and providing a steady stream of income. The expansion of the canal in 2016, which allowed for the passage of larger ships, further cemented its role as a critical component of global trade. These canals have drastically reduced the travel time and costs for shipping goods around the world. For example, the Suez Canal cuts the journey between Europe and Asia by more than 7,000 kilometres, while the Panama Canal shaves off about 13,000 kilometres from the journey between the east and west coasts of the United States. These savings are not just measured in time, they're measured in billions of dollars. For companies and countries alike, the canals are invaluable assets that streamline global commerce. But the economic impact of these canals extends beyond their direct revenue. They are crucial for the flow of goods that drive the global economy. From oil and gas to consumer goods and agricultural products, the commodities that pass through these canals keep the wheels of commerce turning. Any disruption to their operation, 
whether due to political instability, accidents or natural disasters, can send shockwaves through the global economy. Moreover, the canals also play a pivotal role in the economic development of the regions they traverse. In Egypt, the Suez Canal has been a cornerstone of the country's economy since its inception. It has spurred the development of cities along its banks, provided employment opportunities and attracted foreign investment. Similarly, in Panama, the canal has been a catalyst for economic growth, driving the expansion of the country's logistics and shipping industries. However, with great economic power comes great responsibility. The management of these canals requires a delicate balance between maximizing revenue, ensuring the safety of passage and maintaining the delicate ecosystems they intersect. The economic stakes are high and any mismanagement could have far-reaching consequences. While the Suez and Panama Canal have been instrumental in shaping global trade, they are not without their challenges. These canals, built in another era, now face the pressures of modern-day demands, political instability and environmental concerns. One of the most pressing challenges is the need for constant modernization. The ever-given incident in the Suez Canal was a stark reminder of the limitations of these waterways. As ships continue to grow larger in response to global trade demands, the canals must adapt. The Suez Canal Authority has already initiated expansion projects to widen and deepen the canal, but the process is complex, costly and fraught with environmental concerns. The Panama Canal too has had to modernize to stay relevant. The expansion project completed in 2016, known as the Panama Canal Expansion or the Third Set of Locks, was a monumental undertaking. It allowed for the passage of new Panamax ships, which were significantly more significant than the vessels that could previously navigate the canal. However, this expansion has brought with it a host of challenges, including increased maintenance costs, environmental impact, and the need for continued upgrades to handle even larger ships in the future. Political instability also poses a significant threat to the operation of these canals. The Suez Canal is situated in a region that has been plagued by political turmoil for decades. The Egyptian government has maintained control over the canal, but the threat of unrest and terrorism looms large. Any significant disruption to the canal's operations could have catastrophic consequences for global trade. While the canal in Panama is far removed from the volatile politics of the Middle East, it is not immune to geopolitical tensions. The canal is a strategic asset and its control is of interest to global powers like the United States and China. China's growing influence in Latin America has raised concerns in the US, leading to increased attention to the security and management of the canal. Environmental concerns are another major challenge. Both the Suez and Panama Canal intersect delicate ecosystems vulnerable to climate change, pollution and increased maritime traffic. The Suez Canal, for example, has introduced invasive species to the Mediterranean Sea, disrupting local marine life. The Panama Canal, which relies on vast quantities of fresh water from the surrounding lakes, faces water scarcity and climate change challenges. Maintaining the delicate balance between operational efficiency and environmental sustainability is a daunting task that requires careful planning and international cooperation. As we reflect on the term, channels of blood and gold, we must acknowledge the immense human cost behind creating these waterways. 
The blood of countless workers stains the ground beneath these canals, a stark reminder that progress often comes at a steep price. As we look to the future, the Suez and Panama Canal continue to play vital roles in the global economy. However, they face various challenges that must be addressed to ensure their continued relevance in a rapidly changing world. From political instability and environmental concerns to the need for constant modernization, these canals are at a crossroads. In the coming years, the Suez and Panama canals will need to adapt to new realities, including the impact of climate change, the shifting dynamics of global power, and the ever-increasing demands of international trade. Yet one thing is sure, these channels will remain critical arteries of global commerce, continuing to shape the world in ways we can only imagine. So, as we conclude our journey through the channels of blood and gold, let us not forget the lessons of the past. Let us honour the sacrifices made by those who came before us and strive to ensure that these vital waterways continue to serve as bridges between nations, cultures and economies for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the fascinating history and enduring significance of the Suez and Panama Canals, two of the most crucial channels in our global economy.